this is part two of a little video of how I do panda graphs from the front of my machine without camera, without electronics, um, without anything but the panda graph and me moving manually. So um, come shoot, this is the laser that I'm using. It's just a little cat laser that I got on Amazon. Unfortunately, they don't have it anymore, but if you come around to the side here, you can see the little toggle button. Um, it has three different lights that you can you can do. Um, the red laser is the one that, that I use for the pantographs. So, show the thing here. So, in the first video, I showed all the things that I'm using and how I set up the foam board. And so, in this video, I'm going to show you how I actually do the quilting and how I advance it. So, I do already have um, a couple of rows done, you can see. And what I'll do is I'll take my um, one of my points on my previous stitching and I'll look at my laser here and I'll line up everything according to that. So once I get my laser kind of positioned, I also have on the paper, if you can zoom into this, here and here I have lines marked to line up with my either my edge or my seam and I have that on both ends and so once I get my laser set you may have to kind of move it a little bit and manipulate it but once I get that set I can start quilting but that's how I know where my starting point is wherever I'm at, wherever I've, I've stitched previously. So the light lines here indicate my previous uh, row of stitching. So I can line up there and uh, all of the stitching should fall right into place. So give me just a second to get that set right there. That's pretty close. So I'll go over and pull my thread up. and tie off there and I'll just start following the lines and if you can show some of the here and some there that's kind of what I'm going after but just kind of getting started is the hardest part once I get started Come back to my point here and all the way over but this is how it's gonna work I'll just keep going all the way down and everything should fall pretty well into place it's not a perfect system um, you do have to make sure that you're you're spacing it out to where your um, needle doesn't hit the board here when you get to the furthest point and I think I've done that um, so we'll see in just a second I'll just put a little bit more but here's this so this one will be my furthest point I'll see how close I got Okay, so that was really close, but it works. So that is how I do the stitching from the front. Um, when I'm done, so come over here. Um, what I will do, once I have this lined up, you're going to clip the edge of the fabric onto the foam board just on the edge there and then also on the edge of your quilt here if you can um, if not it does sit pretty well it doesn't it doesn't really move but um, when I'm ready to go to the next row uh, you do have to kind of go down the row of your pantograph 
and make sure that your laser is lining up um, appropriately um, with the with your previous points but that's that's how I do it if you have any questions um, feel free to comment thank you